Hello all heroes and welcome back to Invincible Guarding the Globe and today is a glorious day. Not because of any kind of event going on or a special nightmare or anything, much more better. I have reached rank 20 in This Is Heavy. That last 86,000 currency hurdle has finally been overcome. And now I am really getting a nice pile of the chips from that. It is truly glorious. That is the first GDA, GDA op we have completed. So now, of course, we're still going to be having my best team turbo farming this thing. Because what we can do now is actually put the resources into my other... GDA Ops. Starting, I'm thinking with Train and Gain. The reason I'm doing Train and Gain next is it's always the blue XP I seem to constantly be running out of. The pink XP, the, the, the special XP is pretty it is pretty aggressively used too. But if you look here, I've got a pretty decent surplus of the special XP, but it's the blue XP I need. That's what I desperately need so for the time being at least i'm thinking i'm going to focus fire on training gain to get this nice and updated and get the rewards that follow um after that probably downtown destruction and then maybe reanimate rampage if i want to squeeze out some more loot from that shorter one but basically i just wanted to show my progress and see that uh or show off that uh this is heavy is done Finally, definitely the most important one to do first because by doing this you get even more access cards to crank up everything else. It took a minute. Definitely took a minute. It also doesn't hurt that we do currently have the GDA extra loot actually sitting on this as heavy at the moment. So that's an extra 20% of the chips I can get. That adds up in a hurry. In other news... We are getting Invincible all nice and powered up here. We do have him at 539, so we're still a little bit of a ways from 600, but we are getting there slowly but surely. Once I've got Invincible powered up to 600, probably gonna pivot to Duplicate and then Titan and then kind of work my way down. Of course, I wanna prioritize my Omnipotent Plus heroes. Um, In other news, I almost have Omni-Man up to Legendary Plus, then I can start starring him up. I do have the exceptional Omni-Man here, but I am lacking the fodder at the moment to get him up to exceptional plus. I've got, of course, Omni-Man there, but I need two more Elite Plus Earth's Defenders. I literally need another Darkwing, another Adam Eve, another War Woman, or another Green Ghost to get the job done there. Especially um, Darkwing, that would be very convenient. So we are so close to getting him to the point we can start powering him up some more. But we're not there yet. So that's where we're at with Earth's Defenders. With my GDA heroes, pretty much Robot is the only one that's in any kind of a decent spot. And it's going to stay that way for a hot minute. Um, Once I do get some more GDA fodder, I do have Black Samson here at Exceptional Plus. And then we're, of course, working on getting some more GDA fodder to get another exceptional plus hero. Once we do that, we will get Robot up to Seismic, and then we'll need some more fodder and some more actual robots to get him up to Seismic Plus, and then the Path of Stars all the way up to Omnipotent. Most likely, Robot's going to be my next... Um, He's probably going to be my next completed... Omni Plus character, unless Alan makes a sneak peek comeback, because I do have the exceptional Battle Beast, and I have an exceptional um, Flax and Leader left to burn, which would put him over the Seismic Hurdle, but then after that I would need some more Alans to actually um, get Alan to Seismic Plus, and then I can start starring him up, so we'll see. Um, take your bets on who you think will be the next character to meet, reach Omnipotent Plus. Personally, I think it's going to be Robot. That's just my guess. Um, 
based on my current resources, but Allen is certainly a contender. With Omni-Man kind of bringing up the rear. And then Doc Seismic is technically possible too. We do have him up to, um, to uh, Legendary Plus, but we do need more copies to get him start up. So he is only just barely ahead of Omni-Man. So probably either Robot or Allen is going to be my next Omnipotent Plus character. In other news, the Alliance is doing very well. We're actually at region 29, so we're almost a 30. Once we hit 30, we actually start getting the Seismic Plus gear rewards, which is especially good, at least for completion. You don't get idle rewards of Seismic gear until um, 31. You can get some Seismic gear. And then does that ever go up to Seismic Plus? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, perhaps, and yet perhaps not. We're looking, oh, okay, so 41 is when it does go up to Seismic Plus for the idle rewards as a maximum gear level, but it's going to be a long time before we get there. And then if you make it all the way to level 50, you can get Omnipotent Plus gear, which is, that'd be insane to actually get, um, or not Omnipotent Plus, just straight up Omnipotent. That'd be insane to get omnipotent gear, but I don't know. I would love to know if there is anybody in the game that actually has omnipotent gear. Because, I mean, right now, I mean, shoot, we've got a pretty good alliance. I mean, we're, we're cooking with some juice here, and we are nowhere close to region 50 for the omnipotent plus gear. Does anybody on this earth have omnipotent gear? I want to know. I'd be super curious to know. And just and just see it just to see it it'd be amazing be beautiful to have those gold items thank goodness they haven't tried to make any of that for sale because that would be tempting um but uh yeah we don't need to we don't need to buy gear we definitely do not need to buy gear at all so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our real quick refreshes here what is this why why do you have a ah we can get you actually get that armor level up I don't think there's a huge stat bonus from um, ranking up gear, especially considering the cost of it. But I mean, hey, power still power. Um, so let's see here. Can we get some XP? XP, if you please. Oh, we do like artifact XP. Always want that. Oh, that does remind me actually. Ooh, do I actually, hold on. Do I need those ants? I don't think I do. Not really. I mean, I could put them on robot, but honestly, I'm kind of I'm kind of waiting to try and get the omnipotent plus, or excuse me, a uh, seismic plus gloves for invincible because that's like the one part he's missing. Um, speaking of artifacts, though, get that powered up. But I actually got um the GDA cloaking device up past uh level ten, so it did get a nice little power boost. Um, the invincibility is now for three point three seconds, and he gets uh. In, or whoever's using it gets increased crit damage uh, by 30% for four seconds. So that's a nice little nice little upgrade, actually. Um, and now I can actually use the, the rare artifact XP for once until I completely run out of it again. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So yeah, very nice to be having that upgraded. Oh, I think we just got training gain done. Get the XP, very nice, 400k soon very soon we'll be getting even more and now let's do our refreshes Ooh, okay mauler twin and monster girl i don't have a spare monster girl but i do need gda fodder and that's still a step in the right direction plus i do have i do have that mauler which i could either feed into my other Mauler Twin or save as fodder for Seismic. And then again, though, mm, part of me thinks I should be picky, though, especially for GDA characters that are actually usable for fodder. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm being indecisive. <laughs> See, I probably will just get him by accident sooner or later. 
And I kind of, I kind of want to be stingy with my loot if I'm being totally honest. Monster Girl would be okay. Because I do need two Monster Girls to get Monster Girl up to epic five star. Which, I mean, does have to happen sooner or later. That is kind of how it works. But I kind of want to save my resources, if I'm being honest, because if I see any Omni-Men or Robots or Allens, I want to be able to go for them. So I'm, I'm going to save. I'm going to be good. I'm going to save. So, okay. Wow. Talk about being rewarded for resisting temptation. Okay, that's a little more like it. A uh, Doc Seismic and a War Woman, both of which I need. Um, yeah. Talk about being rewarded. Holy crap. Let it be said that uh, self-control pays off every now and then. I'm not exactly known for my self-control, but every now and then it pays off. There we go. That worked out really well, actually. <laughs> that uh, that kind of went a little nuts. We take those. We 100% take those. Doc Seismic. With Doc Seismic, I might just have to revise my, my opinion from all oh, it's actually good, because admittedly... I've been getting a decent bit of use out of him. Even though he's low level, at least he is effective in GDA Ops. And now he's even stronger. Sweet. Okay. So as far as Omni-Man goes, the War Woman is definitely bought her. That's not even a question. I'm saving these guys because I literally just need two Dark Wings. And then I'll be able to get Dark Wing up to Elite Plus. And then Omni-Man is going to get powered up to Legendary Plus. I literally just need two freaking Dark Wings. But I haven't seen a Dark Wing in ages. It's been driving me up the wall. Literally haven't seen that man in ages and ages. In other news, we do have the latest Cecil's Nightmare here hit squad. Um, the usual weekly stuff, so basically... Every five, you get gems and a shot at a dossier. On the tenth one, you get gems, a dossier, and a shot at a school's out access card. If you can get up to three stars, rinse and repeat all the way up to 50. I actually got up to 39. I think that's the highest I've ever made it. And my ranking's not even that bad. I'm still not quite touching top 100, much to my dismay. But we're actually doing okay here. We're doing okay, but this one for stage 40... Uh-uh. Can't get through it. Literally cannot get through it. Because between the three Battle Beasts and the two Invincibles, they're, they tear my team to shreds. I mean, I mean, it, it's like I'm the one made of paper. I mean, yeah. Titan just dropped. Duplicate's going down. And the only reason Invincible's alive is his invincibility. There's just no shot at all. It's going to be a long time before I can get past this stage in this iteration of the Nightmares. Because, I mean, they just do so much damage. At least, at least this time I took down one Battle Beast. I took down, I took down one Battle Beast, and that was an improvement. So, yeah, not going to get through that anytime soon. But I'm still pretty dang happy to have made it as far as I did. But hopefully the day will come where I have Robot up to Omni Plus, so he'll do better healing. And then I really need to get, um, once Invincible's done, I really need to get Duplicate and Titan leveled up as well. Now, I will say, if slash when I ever get Alan up to Omnipotent Plus, Titan is going to get benched because I would love to have an Omnipotent Plus Alan. That would be insane, especially with his healing and just how bulky he is. I like that image very, very much. But that is all we have for today. Just wanted to give a little bit of an update. Oh, one more thing. There was actually an announcement today on the Discord server that they are actually starting an official content creator program. So I'm pretty hype about that, actually, because, uh, you know, you, this might be hard to believe, but um, I'm a content creator for this game. So, um, no, yeah, you know, I, I might just might qualify for that just a little bit. So I'm very excited about that and massive thanks to the devs for even making that a possibility because, you know, you kind of go into this stuff kind of thinking you're like, oh, you're not really going to get any interaction, but it is really just, it's really nice. It's, it's, it's heartening 
when the devs actually do show appreciation to people like content creators and other players of the game. So, you know, really cool stuff there. So lots of stuff to look forward to, but that is all we have for today. Let me know down in the comments below how your accounts are doing. And uh, yeah, we shall see you next time. Have a good one.